If you have seen many ancient Mesopotamian and Sumerian sculptures, you might have noticed some deities with wings or genies holding a bag on one hand and a pine cone on another, sometimes before a tree. But what's the need? What does the pine cone and the hand bag represent? In this video, we are gonna try to find out and understand the meaning of pine cone and hand bag symbolism in ancient Mesopotamian arts and sculptures. Bucket and cone refer to twin attributes that are frequently held in the hands of winged genies and deities depicted in the art of Mesopotamia and within the context of ancient Mesopotamian religion, particularly in art from the Neo-Assyrian Empire from 911-605 BCE and especially Assyrian palace reliefs from this period. Sometimes only the bag is held on the one hand with the other hand held up which may be a blessing gesture. Sometimes both the bag and pine cone are held by the deities. These objects are often displayed in association with a stylized tree, before floral decorations, guardian figures, the king and or his attendants and open doorways or portals. The cone was apparently held up in the right hand, the bucket held hanging downwards in the left hand of the figure, which is almost always that of a winged genie or an animal-headed demon or monster. Only very occasionally might these attributes be borne by a fully human figure. The Mesopotamians and Sumerians had deities called the Anunnakis whom are also seen carrying a bag and a pine cone. If you want to learn more about the Anunnakis and the mysteries surrounding them like, are they aliens or gods? You should check out my video about them. Tap the I button and check out my video. And make sure to subscribe to my channel. The depictions of deities or spirits with hand bags can be seen in many cultures around the world. To the Aztecs, Quetzalcoatl was, as his name indicates, a feathered serpent. He was a creator deity having contributed essentially to the creation of mankind. He is seen carrying an hand bag. Dagon or Dagon was the Hebrew and Ugaritic common noun for grain, and the god Dagon was the legendary inventor of the plow. His cult is attested as early as about 2500 BC, and, according to texts found at Ras Shamra, he was the father of the god Baal. He was the god of fertility. In the Hebrew Bible, Dagon is referenced three times as the head god of the Philistines. He was sometimes portrayed as half man half fish. A male mermaid you can say. He is also seen holding a mysterious bag. Ones was a Sumerian, Babylonian, culture hero, or god who taught humans about writing and other arts of civilization. Like Prometheus from Greek mythology who disobeyed the gods to bring humans the knowledge of fire. Ones looks very similar to Dagon, half fish and half man, and is also seen holding a mysterious bag. The next picture we're about to see is going to be very interesting and fascinating. Would you believe me if I said this is 11,000 years old? Hundreds of years before any evidence of farming or animal domestication emerged on the planet. It is. It's from Gobekli Tepe, a Neolithic archaeological site near the city of Şanlıurfa in southeastern Anatolia, Turkey. Dated to the pre-pottery Neolithic, between 9500 and 8000 BCE, the site comprises a number of large circular structures supported by massive stone pillars, the world's oldest known megaliths. Many of the pillars from Gobekli Tepe are richly decorated with abstract anthropomorphic details, clothing, and reliefs of wild animals, providing archaeologists rare insights into prehistoric religion and the particular iconography of the period. It's thought that this massive undertaking was the work of hunter-gatherers. The exact purpose of the mountain sanctuary is unknown, however, it appears that temple may have served as a site for religious sacrifices. What we're seeing here is from Gobekli Tepe and if you look closely, you can see the same mysterious handbags we've seen in other cultures. What's so fascinating is this depiction is the earliest depiction of those mysterious handbags, so many years older than the Mesopotamian ones. Very interesting isn't it? 
Now let's talk about the pine cones from the Mesopotamian arts and sculptures. The depictions seem to use the pine cone as a symbol of spiritual consciousness and enlightenment, awakening, or immortality. It was also seen as the symbol of fertility. Ancient Romans associated the pine cone symbol to the god of love Venus. The Egyptian staff of Osiris, dating back to approximately 1224 BC, depicts two intertwining serpents rising up to meet at a pine cone. Many theorists say pine cone represents the seat of consciousness or third eye. Modern scholars and philosophers have noted the staff's symbolic parallels to the Indian Kundalini, a spiritual energy in the body depicted as coiled serpents rising up from the base of the spine to the third eye, the pineal gland in the moment of enlightenment. Awakened Kundalini represents the merging and alignment of the chakras, and is said to be the one and only way to attain the divine wisdom, bringing pure joy, pure knowledge and pure love. Interestingly, the Catholic Church uses the pine cone in its iconography as well. There is a pine cone carved into the holy staff that the Pope carries during religious ceremonies. Also, there's an old Roman fountain with a big pine cone at the Vatican City. Now the mysterious bags, buckets or purses. The bags or buckets may contain some form of holy water, which the deities carry and use it for purification. In this case the cone would be dipped in the bucket of water before being shaken in order to ritually purify a person or object. Alternatively the close association of the objects with depictions of stylized trees has led to the suggestion that it depicts fertilization. Or does the tree represent our DNA and the depictions of Ananakis with pine cone and a mysterious bag near that so-called tree of life could mean that they're altering our DNA? Ancient astronaut theorists say yes, and also provides a theory that the bag could contain the genes used to alter the DNA of our ancestors or the bag could be some form of electric device or battery. The mysteries and theories surrounding the bag and pine cone is very big. We may not yet have found the true meaning or the purpose of those depictions but maybe in the future. When we find an ancient tablet or a literature that explains the true meaning of pine cone and hand bag, all will be revealed. What other historical and mythological stories you want me to make a video about? Comment down your thoughts. Tap the thumbs up icon and subscribe to this channel. It helps me very much. I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching.